Greetings, folks. It is Tuesday, April 27th, 2021. We're in the great city of Wakini, gassing up behind me here at pump 13. On our way to Burlington, Colorado, and folks, I can't stress this enough, this is a low, low-end setup. Like, how low can we go? Um, I don't want to call it a desperation chase, but under normal circumstances, and even circumstances that are a little out of normal, this would be a day I would sit out. But given the circumstances of life, why not? So that's why we're out here. Uh, I left uh, a little later than I had planned, pushed it. I had a departure time in mind when I left this morning, and I even pushed it beyond that just to talk myself into making this trip, and last, here we are. So, uh, Wakini now, we're about two hours from our target. Burlington, Colorado, I think is going to be the target here. We're basically uh, putting all of our chips on the table of the uh, high-res models that indicate a rogue supercell ahead of uh, a cluster coming out of eastern Colorado, which is already fired. Um, and that giving us the hope for whatever it is we're going to find today. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Um, I think I'll get storms. I, I'm confident enough in that, which is enough to make me make the trip. But really, it was all riding on the uh, on those high res models. I um, mean, for the last several, you know, last couple of days, I guess not several, but last couple of days, they've been very optimistic on that particular area. So we'll see what happens, but. Uh, Stopping for fuel, gonna grab some lunch, and then I'm gonna hit the road. And uh, like I said, we should be uh, in Burlington. I would guess by 4 p.m. Mountain Time, we'll actually be in, uh, or I'm sorry, Mountain Time. We'll be in Mountain Time, so that'll be 3 o'clock Mountain Time, 4 o'clock Central Time, and uh, we'll go from there. So that is uh, that is the update. Just enjoying the drive. You can see it's kind of murky, and that has been the case pretty much for most of my drive. I don't think there's any blue skies out there right now, but we'll make the best of it, and uh, we'll keep you updated. So, hang tough. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a day. High risk, high reward. Uh, we'll see if the reward is there. up everybody it is uh, just after four we are in Burlington Colorado we are at the rest stop that uh, splits the uh, exits here in Burlington off of I-70 we are uh, waiting there are hints just to my south which is that way and I'll show you that like right now hints of some initiation trying to take place down there meanwhile to our west we have several clusters, if you will, of severe storms. That's not my play. That's kind of like the emergency backup, nothing else has happened play. Right now, the only storm that has my interest is northeast of Ordway. Um, that would kind of make its way up here. That's the tail end of kind of that cluster. But this area in here has heated up. We've got some sunshine. We've got some instability building. So if the stuff down near Cheyenne Wells does take off, that's likely going to be our play, uh, and I think it's going to be the better of the plays. But we'll continue to kind of wait and watch here. Let's hurry up and wait. We got out here still on plenty of time. Like I said, I wasn't figuring on going all the way to Lyman, but those storms have taken their sweet time getting a move on. Now they've got some wheels. Now they're starting to kind of move a little bit to the east, northeast. So at some point, if it's not what happens to my south and what happens to my west will get in on some storms but um, we shall see I like the area I am in right now um, not a ton of surface flow I mean it's not calm but uh, it's something and there goes some chase group in one of their big vans anyway 
that's where we're at. Um, we're going to get uh, geared up here and ready to rock and roll and figure uh, we'll be mobile at some point here in the next hour. So back in Colorado, we'll work our way into Kansas and we'll see what happens here over the next few hours. So stay tuned. All right, we are back. We are on our way south out of Siebert on Colorado Highway 59 on that southernmost storm. Uh, I've had a funnel and a land spout reported with this, so that's going to be our play. It feels, uh, feels pretty good. It's isolated. It's by itself, and it will stay on the southern part of the line. So we're heading to Kit Carson, and uh, we've already got a view of it. It's not a great view, but if something comes down out of this between here and my arrival to Kit Carson, I'll see it. So that is the plan. We're uh, southbound. Estimate to be at Kit Carson within the next 30 minutes. It's been a while since I've taken this route. But that's where we be. We'll catch you over there. The National Weather Service is with the tornado warning for yeah, we're only a couple minutes later. Um, storm is tornado warned for a confirmed tornado. I think that's what I'm looking at right now. It's still well off to the south. There is a dust plume underneath the base of this storm. It's way off to my southwest. I can see it very clearly. Uh, it doesn't look anything uh, spectacular at the moment. And I found the three trees. <laughs> I found the three trees that are here in eastern Colorado. Let's see here as we crest the hill. Is it still there? There's still a dust bloom there, but it doesn't look terribly tornadic at the moment. But it's there. For whatever that's worth. Snap pattern until we get closer. And if that's if that's truly what that is. But again, it's it's very diffuse. I don't see a funnel. I just see the dust. I mean, it is in the area that they're talking. So we'll see. We'll get closer here. It's as good as we can do.
All right, we have made it to Kit Carson. You might be able to hear the sirens going off behind me. This storm continues to be tornado worn. Saw at least one more land spout on my way down here. I think the RFD is what's kicking up the dust right off to my left here. So maybe we're getting another cycle. This is on the very tail end of the line. This whole line is merged. And this is what's kind of hooking up and around here, so we might get another shot at this yet. But I've seen at least two land spouts, the tail end of the first one that was reported, and then a uh, pretty stout one from the ground that spun up east of the main plume as I was working my way into Kit Carson. So we are now solid on the storm Let's see if we get any other spin-ups in this thing private property buddy i will move you weren't in here if you hit one of our deals or something okay i'll get out I appreciate it no problem you get right on the edge just all right yeah i didn't want to block the entrance no, I just don't want to Nobody's supposed to be coming in, so. All right. Right here because it's my property. No worries, man. I'll <laughs> get out now. Hey, man, I just don't want you to hit one of these things because we just put it on the, all new deals. We just don't want nobody Well, in. I wasn't sure because it said park, and I thought maybe this is like an old drive-in or something. You have an RV park put in here. Gotcha. All right. No problem. I ain't upset. Just, oh, no worries, man. You can park right here if you can't. No problem. All right. <laughs> At least he didn't shoot us. <laughs> That's uh, one heck of an RFD here, my friends. Just gonna put it in.
All right, we are uh, eastbound out of Kit Carson and uh, playing Dodge Tumbleweed. There's another one. <laughs> uh, storm has uh, weakened considerably. RFD rolled through Kit Carson, uh, blasted us pretty good. Had a little bit of small hail in there as well. Have seen at least two land spouts, maybe three. That big dust plume. Uh, I've seen some closer photos from other folks. Uh, definitely had uh, had the spin and all the the stuff you want to see with that. So depending on whether or not, yeah, I think we're at three. I think we're at three land spouts at this point. So I think it's safe to call this a mini spout fest. Um, and at least I've got evidence. I wasn't close, but whatever. They're spouts. I don't. I don't lose sleep over spouts anymore. And the storm looks pretty grungy, crappy right now. Um, and it is really weakened considerably here. So we're going to make our way. the south side of Burlington. We've gotten just ahead of the storm, starting to get a little bit of rain on the front side of it. Winds are really picking up as well. Uh, I think we're going to hold here, let this thing roll on top of us, see if there's anything in here worth a note. It is not currently warned, uh, but uh, reflectivity indicates there's probably some hail in it, maybe a lot of small hail. Hard to tell, but uh, we have made it. It is 49 degrees. I did not bring a hoodie. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll hang tight here. We'll see what this thing does when it gets here. Hopefully sooner than later. We just got back into Kansas about 10 minutes ago, getting ahead of this line. Uh, nothing exciting happened in Burlington, so I split. I'm trying to get out ahead of this thing. I was hoping there'd be kind of a dramatic shelf cloud or something. You kind of see it over my shoulder here. Doesn't look all that impressive yet. It might be a little bit more impressive further to the north. That's where the worst of the core is right now. So I'm not sure I'm going to stop in Goodland. I don't think it's going to hit Goodland. I think it's going to stay north. Um, it's got... I mean, it, it could be moving due east. It might be nudging south and east. Um, either way, we're going to get further east. And uh, see maybe if this turns south. And most models had it lifting into Nebraska, and it's not doing that right now. So... Uh, Hits a bit over my shoulder. Uh, we'll see what uh, awaits us further up the road. Alrighty, folks, it is about 8.30 Central Time. We have arrived at the Oasis in Colby, what's left of it. This place was famous for its palm trees, and today I rolled up and saw that the last one that was standing is gone now. There are no more palm trees left here at the Oasis. That is a tragedy. But uh, I'm calling it a day. <clears throat> the, uh, the line of storms has pinwheeled from east to north-northeast, 
will be on its way out of Kansas probably within the next hour. There's no way I'll get back in front of it, and there's no reason to really get back in front of it. So I'm going to call it a day here. We're going to get some dinner, get fueled up, and then uh, make the long drive home uh, with uh, likely not running into anything else weather-wise here. I'm not even sure if the tail end of this line will uh, will even make it here to Colby, um, but no matter. A uh, pretty good day for the most part. I mean, stat patters, bird farts, land spouts, whatever you want to call them. There were three of them. Um, I saw all of them from a distance. Unfortunately, by the time I got close enough to do anything exciting with it, uh, the storm had stopped producing. But still pretty good RFD there in, in Kit Carson. A little bit of small hail with that. Um, honestly, more than I thought I was going to see out of this. I really had to talk myself into coming out of here this morning. Um, I won't remember this day <laughs> in in a couple of weeks, but uh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Um, like I said, you, had, you pad three, three to your stats, as uh, my chase partner and I had always used to, to say when comparing baseball. Not all your home runs are going to end up in the third deck. Um, some of them barely clear the fence, but hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. Um, Qdoba for dinner. I'll get my steak and the tacos and call it good. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, been a decent season. I mean, I'm three three chases in. I'm not out much, but I'm two for three, at least in seeing swirlies. Um, certainly not uh, anything compared to the happy wedge, but, you know, hey, take what you get, man. Beggars can't be choosers. At least it's something. To, uh, at least it's something. So... Uh, again, like and subscribe. Uh, got a lot more stuff coming. Starting to get a lot of archive stuff out as well. So I'm um, going to be a mix here. We'll see um, exactly what the rest of the season holds. Uh, my move is upcoming within the next few weeks. So it's going to be hit or miss as to whether or not I'm able to get out much uh, between now and, say, late May. Um, bad timing on that, but it is what it is. At least I'm making the best of the season to this point. So... Uh, again, like and subscribe. Uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought of today. And uh, hopefully, before too long, we'll get back out and do this again. And hopefully on something a little bit more uh, worthy of writing home about. So we'll see you guys on the next one.